I'm gonna see if I can talk to this guy real quick. I didn't talk to him last time. And then I'm gonna head off. Come back here later. So I was kinda hoping to look for a guy. Those guys are back again. Damn good work out there, Pathfinder. Wanted to extend my thanks in person. You did a hell of a thing, taking out all those Ket. You showed me where to head. Ah, you would have been fine without me. But you didn't drive all this way for me to kiss your ass. Here, your reward. Glad someone from the Nexus is competent. Stay safe, Masani. That's the goal. Jal said he wanted to see you. Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. Anomaly found. Our Turian friend on Eos has good instincts. Let's check it out. Anomaly on sensors. Deploying probe. Getting a scan. Possible cat supplies, just like Darkett suggested.
scientists have. A few answers as the dark energy anomaly known as the Purge has been traveling. Don't. Don't shut the crate off the. Pathfinder, thank you for arranging my access to the cultural center. Mm, there's so much to study here. <laughs> ah, it would take a lifetime. There's thousands of years of history before humans even arrive on the scene. That would be a nice full-time job. But you've already got one. Pathfinder, I'm glad you could stop by. Pardon the dust while we set everything up. How did you get this job? I was a sociologist in the Milky Way. While there were plenty of cultures to study, the books on them had all been written. There was nothing new I could add. So when I heard about the initiative, I signed up right away. The idea of meeting new people, seeing how they've evolved, adapted to life's challenges, I couldn't resist. What goes on here? The Cultural Center is a place where new races we've met can visit and exchange ideas. They can learn more about the Milky Way species, while we foster an air of cooperation and understanding. We're just getting everything ready. Hopefully it won't be long before we have our first visitors. Have you heard anything about the cat? Unfortunately, yes. Now, that's a species we won't be inviting here anytime soon. I'd hoped our encounters would be peaceful, but I suppose that was too much to ask. Thanks. Of course, our hope is that you'll make friends in the cluster and send them our way. And when you have a second, check back with me on a favor I'd like to ask. I thought you might like to hear more about our plans. Maybe later. No problem. I'll be here whenever you'd like to learn more. Don't hesitate to speak with one of our friendly peace ambassadors. They're happy to answer any questions you may have and eager to learn more about your own culture. Pathfinder, do you have a moment? We, uh, need to explain you. Explain me? Our new VI over there is meant to describe the role of our Pathfinders, but it just lost all its settings in a crash. If you could fix them, that would really help us out. Just talk to the VI, and it'll do the rest. Thanks. Of course. Hello there, neighbor. I'm Gian Garson, the founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I thought you might like to hear more about our plans. Okay. Great. If you're seeing this, it means our Pathfinders have done their job and made new friends in the galaxy. Welcome to the Nexus. But I want to put your mind at ease. Seeing our arcs arrive in your neighborhood probably raised some concerns. I'm happy to address them. What are you planning to do in this galaxy? Great question. I'd be worried about that too. I can assure you. We have no hostile intentions whatsoever. We're pilgrims who simply want to live in peace. We're eager to learn about new cultures, new ideas, and share our own with you. But we understand trust needs to be earned, no matter what galaxy you're in. And the Initiative looks forward to doing just that. Why did you leave the Milky Way? <laughs> I get that question a lot. Many of us have a deep curiosity that needs to know what else is out there. Our own Milky Way is just one tiny speck in a universe full of mysteries. And speaking for myself, the thought of exploring those mysteries in Andromeda was a call to adventure I could not resist. 
Thank you for taking the time to listen. On behalf of my fellow Milky Way travelers, we couldn't be more excited about what the future holds for all of us. I'm Jan Garth, founder of the initiative. On behalf of the Nexus, I welcome you to the welcome Cultural, to the cultural Exchange. Please Center. have a look around. Please have a look around. We're just getting things up and running. We hope you'll enjoy learning about the rich diversity of people who have arrived from the Milky Way galaxy. Welcome to the setup of your Pathfinder Informational PI. I am programmed with all relevant data. However, you must identify which information I should prioritize. First, select your preferred voice and appearance, male or female. Female, please. Meeting new species. Very well said. Next, should I emphasize the role of the Pathfinder team or their partner AI? Go with the Pathfinder's team. Very well said. Finally, should I provide career advice to future Pathfinders or an honor of former Pathfinders? I want you to give career advice. It all sounds good to me. Thank you for choosing this Pathfinder information VI. Implementing changes. The Nexus is a place of friendship and cooperation. We're glad you could visit. Top scientists have this is my wife. Emily. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Jan Garthley, founder of the initiative. Welcome to the Nexus. We ask you to spend a Hi. <laughs> Gil Brody is your engineer, right? That's right. I'm Bailey. I used to work with him in the hangars here. You wouldn't happen to know if he's... available, would you? Depends on what you mean. His duties keep him pretty busy. No, I mean like a... Oh. Never mind. Just, uh... Tell him I said hi, huh? Seems quiet for now. Look, Jonesy. Clan before cronies. Free our hey, family. What's going on? That's your new galaxy. Making speeches about some fresh start while your kids stay frozen. And it's all thanks to your Pathfinder. Excuse me? We've waited months for our families to come out of stasis. They should have gone to your outpost. But because you wanted military personnel, people tagged as scientific support have to wait again. All the reassignments mean they're in 10 different colony blocks now. And my mother just got caught in the middle. We only had resources for one outpost, so I focused on the skills we needed most. Well, your pick has my grandchildren trapped in that pod. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want Mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods. Today. I authorize whole colony blocks or a few emergency revivals. I can't wake dozens of random people. We don't care whose finger pushes the button. If you can't, our leaders can. And if you tell them, they will. Okay, I'll talk to the leadership about what we can do. 14 months of promises. It's time for some results. We tried petitioning Addison. She ignored us. 
Screw her! Start with Kandros. He sent those ten soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. Make them hear. Make them know. Make them Any word? No, no new orders. Keep the safeties on the case. Clan before cronies. So, Ryder, big news. I think I found my purpose in life. Oh, yeah? What's that? Uh, thrashing you at poker? Shall I deal? Ryder, I can read Bill's vital signs and give you an advantage during the game if you like. Do it. The Pathfinder has spoken. Ooh, were you holding out on me? You're pretty good at this. Don't act so surprised. Poker's lost me several friends over the years. The only one who still plays me is my buddy Jill. I, I know, I know, Jill and Gil. Not the type to give up, huh? Never. She'll be with me to the bitter end. Come one minute. Jill's a fertility expert, heads the initiative CRC. My only real friend from back home. I bet 50. I call. The CRC? Colonial Repopulation Committee. She's always teasing that I'm making her job harder. Says if I'm not making babies, I'm part of the problem. We have that kind of relationship. Ah, sounds kind of disrespectful. It doesn't bother you? Nah, she's like family. Supports me unconditionally. We just ride each other like that. You should meet her. You'll see. She's amazing. Another hundred. He's bluffing. I call. Oof, nice. That one's yours. Well, the winning streak's over. You beat me, Ryder, fair and square. Guess I continue searching for my true purpose in life. Cards went my way. Beginner's luck. Pedal that somewhere else. You're no beginner. Jill's gonna lay into me hard when she hears you won. Ah, I'll just tell her this proves how bad a player she is. Ouch. Have fun. And thanks for the game. I was wondering if you could help me out. It's for the good of the bar. Lay it on me. So folks try and help and all, but we have a limited pool of ingredients. Keep an eye out for anything interesting we could use for new drinks, and we'll let you test them for free. Right. I get a feeling the testing will be interesting. Don't worry. Dutch may complain a lot, but he's loving it. And he's the best chemist I know. You're in good hands. Welcome back. Oh, another one! Damn it! This is supposed to be the chemistry lab. My chemistry lab. You all keep crawling out of the woodwork like space cockroaches. You say that, Dutch, but here you are, pouring people drinks. Uh, hi. I'm standing right here. They're guinea pigs, damn it. Chemists should have guinea pigs. Not have their labs taken over by people giving them things and, and being nice. Bad people giving you free things and helping you set up. So inconsiderate. Right? They keep bringing things. Tables and chairs and this bar and lights. Wait, you're making fun of me, aren't you? Don't let Dutch put you off. He's a sweetie, really. I'm not. And the drinks are good. Damn right they are. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm a dirty squirrel. Things are shaping up, Pathfinder. Resources flowing in, sleep is ready to head out. It's starting to feel like the initiative. Not quite up to the sales pitch, but getting there. Feels good, right? 
feel it, Liam. Finally getting our start. There we go. Getting our shit together. Showing a new galaxy that we haven't sorted. If I keep saying it, it's true, right? What's the trouble? I've got power shortages throughout the station. I can't for the life of me find the cause. Oh, whoa, you, you're the Pathfinder. Hey, sorry, please ignore me. You've got way more important things to do. Power to the Nexus is pretty important. I'm happy to help. Uh, that's great, because I'm at a loss. There are obvious short circuits cropping up all over the place. A Pathfinder's eye might reveal something. There's a power short here. We could scan the area. Make them hear. Make them know. Make them lead or make them go. Residents are still warning the law school to keep the Things go. The materials you found were perfect. If you've got more, we'll take it all. I need to keep some on reserve for engineering repairs, but I can have another batch sent your way for sure. Wonder if I can get this part yeah. of local traders. A reminder that alcoholic beverages must be consumed within private quarters or at the vortex. Consumption of alcohol. Did this? Affirmative. I am able to track it. Attention. Civil disobedience has been reported in hydroponics. Security is in Pathfinder. Wow. I'm Davis Carr, Helios News Service. Maybe you've heard my voice over the vids. I'm trying to file a story right now, but hey. HNS, huh? Where are the rest of you? I had an editor, but it's crazy out here. Now, beyond a freelancer or two, I'm it. All that stands between freedom and tyranny, or something. I haven't had much sleep. Who pays for you to do this? Technically, HNS is an arm of the initiative, but we serve the public, not them. Sometimes the higher ups try and tell us what to broadcast, 
tan especially, but we decide what to run and how to run it. It causes friction, but at least I can live with myself. Were you a journalist back in the Milky Way? I was. Sort of. Only had a couple internships under my belt. Good places, though. The New Star Chronicle even sent me to Mars for a week. The plan was just to work as a reporter out here. Then the uprising happened. We got a little too close. My editor was killed. Tan blamed our broadcasts for stirring unrest. It was bullshit. Now all I want to do is keep going. I met another journalist, Carrie Tavessa. Yeah, we're running Carrie's series, Path of a Hero. Good stuff. I'm mostly on my own, so pretty much anyone who brings me news is welcome. Content is king, and her content is really touching a nerve. Talk to you later, Davis. Hey, Ryder, before you go, I hate to ask, but it seems like your job takes you all over. The places we can't broadcast yet. If I send receivers to your ship, would you mind placing them on some planets? It'll help get news out to even the most far-flung colonists. Okay, Davis. I'll help you get set up. Great. Just place a receiver near an outpost, and they'll get our reports. Colonial Affairs, please advise Director Tan of your status. How many times have I told you this story? Wait, what? You've been keeping count. <laughs> Rusha, that's not funny. Pathfinder, thanks for helping Raj and Zara find Atkins. Kadara Port can swallow him whole for all I care. Good job on the outpost. Maybe Addison will lighten up. What do you mean? She's been pretty upset about not having an initiative outpost established yet. Understandable, if you ask me. I'm just glad she's got work to focus on now. Nothing more for now. Try not to die out there. All right, divert the power from the lower decks. What about the report? Ryder, can you believe this place? One space station slightly dented? You should have seen it a year ago. It was more than just dented. Anyway, thanks for bringing me on. Tan can't kick me off the station now, and it's been nice seeing my granddaughter again. The two of you seem close. It's been Kesh and me against the galaxy the moment I got her. Well, maybe not as much now, but it sure was early on. Pathfinder, I believe you found the culprit responsible for the power shortages. Alert Professor Herrick to come secure it. Any logistics updates are due within the hour. Or I forgot about moving that. I get this all done, so I have to do it again. Can't both be first strikes, right? Oh, yeah. busy out there. That's one word for it. If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. I need to talk to you about stasis revival and those protesters in hydroponics. I see. Maybe I should get the others for this. Protesters have seized hydroponics? They want their families out of stasis. The outpost on Eos disrupted the schedule. They're scattered across colony blocks. Dozens of people. The protesters want this fixed today. The realities of our position are... We can't wake those families. 
We don't have the resources, and there's nowhere to put them. We settled Eos. There's no space down there for a few extra... It's not that simple, Ryder. Everything Eos produces right now is accounted for. And what would those scientists do at a military outpost? What do you suggest? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe and get those protesters out of hydroponics. They seem sympathetic, but so did the exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. What would you do with the protesters? I'd send in a squad and march them out. At gunpoint, if we must. If they resist, a few might land in medbay, but it's better than losing hydroponics. Or the Nexus. Do you think these protests could turn violent? We're all pioneers. Even civilians are tough enough to start something. And interfering in hydroponics threatens our oxygen supply. They know that. We have to look at the bigger picture. Get them out of there. Kandros? I'll send in a team, but it might go smoother if Ryder's there. A good idea. Sometimes we have to give bad news. That's a Pathfinder's duty, too. Maintenance crews, please report to the Apex team leaders reporting back. Oh, crap. Wrong way. Oh, yeah, I have to stop up here real quick. I have no. I was going to say something. If you want to keep it, do it. Yeah. How do you find where the ones, the best ones that work on there? Oh, yeah. I have to do those missions in a little bit. Just stand down, ma'am. Or you'll shoot me. Good luck explaining that to my grandchildren. What happened? She was about to disconnect the water hoses, threaten all the plants. They're saying the leaders won't wake our families. Well, this is how far we're willing to go. Their move. I know this is hard, but for the good of the Nexus, we need you to be patient. We've already waited. How old will I be by the time Mom's out of stasis? Take it easy, kid. The Pathfinder's got a point. I'll go off station if I have to. I'll find anyone who'll actually do something. You want your mom to wake up and find you exiled? Or dead? I... Reese, don't. Anything's better than that. Even the longest wait of our lives. When our families hear about this, they'll probably agree with the Pathfinder. You're done here. Come on. Yeah? <laughs> 
soldier. Oh no. Pathfinder, I hear the Angaran planet Aya is a paradise. We finally found a lush world. When do we start moving in? In good time. As we become better friends, hopefully we'll all share more and more. But we need to find lush planets of our own, for all of us. True. But hey, at least now we know one exists, right? I know you'll do it. Keep up the good work, Pathfinder. Writer, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth, after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. It's simple. We take Sam. Who? I named the AI. Simulated adaptive matrix. Sam. We use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um... My work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this... I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. Sam can fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. You're not an N7 anymore. That doesn't mean we... They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't gonna lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just asked for a refund. So can this Sam talk yet? Hello, Ellen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Um... To get a root canal. <laughs> Humor algorithms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? That felt so real. Mom was right there. Alive. It was the first time I met Alan. My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. Dad wasn't ready. Mom was just trying to prepare him. Even though all human beings one day expire. Yeah, but when it's someone you love, it's not that cut and dry. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. Your progress as Pathfinder has unlocked an additional memory. Let's see it. This memory is of a family gathering on Earth. Finally, the Rider Clan in one room. It feels like it's been years since we were together. Or more. Well, I'll take whatever I can get. I've missed you two. How are you feeling, Mom? No, we're not doing that. There's only one rule for this visit. No talking about me. I'm fine. And when I'm not, the pills help. Deal? Okay. Good. Let's talk about something else. Alec? Um... Really? Well, uh... You're both looking... taller. Yeah, Dad, that does tend to happen. Right, right, I know. So, um... I heard the Alliance has a new Mako in the works. Yeah, word is they can airdrop this one from a ship. I know. They're saying we might get one on our next expedition. You still poking around the attic in Traverse? 
It's amazing. We think we might have found a Prothean site. No artifacts yet, but we're still digging. Ah, oh, I remember the day they found the first ruins on Mars. Changed my life. We knew for sure that aliens were real. We just had to go find them. Yes, every day I wake up, I'm looking at a Mass Effect relay, and I keep thinking, what's on the other side? Don't lose that. The minute you stop wondering what's beyond the mountain, you die a little inside. No chance of that. It's in our blood. You infected us. What was it like, Dad? When you went through that first relay? <laughs> Don't believe the stories. The Garon relay scared the shit out of us. Admiral Grissom included. Why don't we go have this dinner your mom's been slaving over all day? I'll tell you all about it. I remember that. Mom complained the Ryder clan was never in the same room at the same time. Odd, considering you were family. That's all you need to know. Dad wasn't much fun to hang around with. The awkward silences could last for hours. Yet you shared a common interest. Yeah, good or bad, your parents rub off on you. A form of symbiosis? Sure, I suppose. Though not always beneficial. It gave rise to you. Jury's still out on that. Nevertheless, the emotional bonds among family became clear to me that day. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. Your father's personal logs. Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me, too. No maybe about it. Hey, this is my secret log. Anyway, the right type of implant, joined with the right type of AI, could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and Sam are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. As a Quarian and historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was taking a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse, the Geth saw us as the Creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors. And they resented it. Ryder, Barlabon says you're looking for me. It's not every day an XN7 looks for the Shadow Broker. Anything can be had, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The Council will have specters all over my ass if they catch wind of this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I've got people. That's interesting. I wonder if that's before. If that's the actual Shadow Broker or not. The Atrium. Lana. Pathfinder? Oh. Have to go now. See you later. Good luck. Wish they'd tell me who I talked to and didn't talk to.
Oh my, I'm doing so much running right now. I think the only thing left is cryo, but... Cryo bay. Operations. Go back to the ship. Species are at odds as talks break down over a unified curriculum for initiative kids. The Asari say they'll wait it out until demands are met. This is HNS. Complaint 